Hello, I'm Daniel and I'm going to show you in this video what painting technique I use on uh, an abstract painting made by me before 2006 and so to answer to many of you that ask me how I did my uh, old uh, abstract paintings. So, let's do it. First of all, we need water because this will be made this painting will be made in uh, acrylics see large tube of acrylics small tube of acrylics. brushes and kind large brushes and uh, the most important we have to use As if tape of any kind, this or this, I wouldn't recommend you scotch blue tape for artists because that's for painters, for building painters, you know. A blue scotch type, it's too good for our purpose. You don't need a sharply line. We need a more irregular line. You know, so, for the first step. The first step is to paint. A light layer of green. I use this. No. I don't want it to I don't want it to be even. Remember it's an upset painting. Very rare. See? This is a small canvas. I do it just for the pose of showing you how to paint it. What technique I used. You know, it's a demonstrative painting. Yeah. Anyway, who knows? Maybe I will sell it. See? I'm doing so uh, more effects on the canvas. Large painting knife would be good to use. Yeah. Well, just now I have another, a new, a new idea to get an, an abstract effect. So, let's see what happened. Hmm? Nah. Every time you 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 got an idea, just try it. Don't be afraid to apply it. Who knows? How beautiful effect effect will be. Mm. It's not so great, but anyway.
I don't need it. We just have to wait for this first layer to dry. If you don't want to wait, just use a uh, hair dryer, you know. Now, the first layer is uh, dried, so uh, let's see what can I do. Stick them down. Think a little bit about uh, the composition. You know, you don't uh, simply put them down in a chaos. Uh, you have to think about the composition. You know. this white. Even that is an abstract painting, you have to think about the composition. Don't just over all this stuff. Well, let's add the other layer. Now I'll uh, use some different type of acrylics, different colors. Anyway, I thought the, at the beginning of the video about some brushes, well, I didn't use any. Don't ask me why. I don't know. This is an abstract. Yeah. Just like, uh, like, um, uh, what is her its name? Just like a palette, a painting palette, you know, color palette.
Now, you have to wait for the second layer to dry. Just a little bit. Mm, that I think to If you use brown, brown tape like me, don't stick it to 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 good on the canvas because um, the glue will transfer to to the painting. Just a little bit. Press just a little bit on, on the canvas. Well. It's a nice base. Hmm? It's a nice base for for our painting. Now we have to to wait for it to dry because um, I want to to put the orange and red and red and orange. Uh, and red and orange and green they are not good they are not good if they are wet because if they mix together mix up together the result will be something muddy Now I'm start painting with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of orange, and I really don't have any clue where to put it. And uh, if this is your case too. Start adding a color, a spot, or anything else, whatever. It's not so important. See? And see. Now I uh, make a reproduction, you know. I, uh, I am doing something similar to an old painting of mine. No? And I think it's impossible to to exact copy an abstract painting simply because you don't you can't you can't duplicate the state of the mind. You had 
while you while you was painting the original painting. Anyway, I think it's enough. It's really enough. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, the painting is uh, almost ready. We only have to throw some color here. For that, we need to use either this kind of uh, tool. See, push it there. And uh, because you may not have this kind of tool, I will show you how to use a simple plastic, a simple plastic bag. We will put color on it and punch it here and throw the color. I put a little bit of color and uh, well I will I'll use a bit of this one too to get a better here, here. a little bit of water not too much, just 
stress a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. I think I did it. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I think it's better. Color should be more freely. Well, anyway. And now, with with a knife, you just. Treats and your wheel. Well, I think this is just enough. The danger, well, one of the dangers in uh, abstract painting is overworking. Yeah. Many times you, know, you have the tendency to overwork on the color. And um, that's not a good thing generally. Well, I think this is it. Don't you think? Now I need an, uh, I need nothing. I don't need nothing. I think it's enough. Maybe just a little bit of... No, 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 no. It's enough. An orange. A little bit of orange. Let's see. Hmm? What do you think about this orange? It's too precious. It's a too precious pigment to use on a demonstrative painting. But I'll waste a little bit of it just for the sake of beauty. Mm. Well, maybe it's enough. No, no, no.
this. This is it. And this is it. Hmm. And now I have to decide. Let's sign it. See? It's quite simple. I hope you like it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration and get uh, courage to try it for, uh, to yourself to do this uh, kind of abstract art. It's not uh, too hard to do it. It's, let's say, quite easy. The, the most, uh, uh, the most, uh, the most important thing is uh, imagination in abstract art. Well, until the next time, please share it, like it, and uh, watch it again and again. Bye.